Welcome, today we delve into the life of one of history's notorious figures, Idi Amin Dada. Born in the year 1925, in the West Nile region of Uganda, Amin's early life was marked by a lack of formal education, but an abundance of ambition and physical strength. Amin's journey towards his infamous reign began in the year 1946, when he was recruited into the British colonial regiment known as the King's African Rifles. With his imposing physique and commanding presence, Amin quickly stood out among his peers. He excelled in boxing, becoming the Ugandan heavyweight champion and holding the title for nine years. But it was not just his physical strength that stood out. Amin was known for his charisma, his quick wit, and his ability to command respect. In the military, Amin rose through the ranks at an unprecedented pace. He started as a private, but by the end of the 1950s, he had been promoted to the rank of major. He was one of only two Ugandan commissioned officers serving in the regiment. His military prowess was not unnoticed, earning him both respect and fear from his peers. However, it wasn't just his military achievements that marked this period of Amin's life. He was also known for his ruthlessness and his disregard for human rights. There were numerous allegations of brutalities committed by Amin during his military service, setting a dark precedent for his later rule. Amin's military career was a critical stepping stone in his journey towards becoming the ruler of Uganda. His time in the King's African Rifles not only provided him with the tactical knowledge and experience, but also the ruthless determination and ambition that would fuel his future reign. Amin's military career set the stage for his rise to power. In 1971, Amin seized the opportunity to, to take control of Uganda. The man who was once a loyal soldier now turned his sights to the seat of power. He staged a successful coup against President Obote while he was abroad, swiftly taking the reins of the nation into his hands. No sooner had Amin seized power than he declared himself president. But he did not stop there. His love for pomp and grandeur led him to bestow upon himself a mouthful of titles. His Excellency, President for Life, Field Marshal al Haji Dr. Idi Amin Dada, Lord of all the beasts of the earth and fishes of the seas, and conqueror of the British Empire in Africa in general and Uganda in particular. A title that was as grandiose as his rule was brutal. Amin's rule was a reign of terror. The army, once his comrades, became the first target of his purges. He suspected them of disloyalty and had them systematically eliminated. But the purges did not stop at the army. They extend to the population, with certain ethnic and political groups bearing the brunt of his paranoia. In 1972, Amin turned his attention to the Asian community in Uganda. Accusing them of economic exploitation, he ordered their expulsion. Over 70,000 Asians were forced to leave the country, their properties confiscated. This act not only disrupted Uganda's economy, but it also earned Amin international condemnation. Under Amin's rule, Uganda was a nation in fear. Arbitrary arrests, torture, and extrajudicial killings became the order of the day. His regime was marked by gross human rights abuses, political repression, and corruption. The cost of his eight-year rule was high, with estimates of the death toll ranging from 300,000 to half a million people. Amin's rule marked by gross human rights abuses, political repression, and corruption led to the deaths of an estimated 300,000 to 500,000 people. The end of the 70s marked the beginning of the end for Amin's rule. As international pressure mounted, his grip on power began to wane. The Tanzanian-led Uganda-Tanzania War of 1978 to 1979 was the final nail in the coffin. Amin's forces were no match for the combined strength of Tanzanian troops and Ugandan exiles. His reign of terror was finally brought to an end in April 1979. But the story doesn't end there. But following his ousting, Amin fled to Libya, where he was welcomed by his ally, Muammar Gaddafi. This marked the start of a life in exile, a stark contrast to the absolute power he once wielded. In Libya, Amin lived a relatively quiet life, far from the public eye. However, his stay was short-lived. He soon found a new home in Saudi Arabia, where he spent the rest of his days. While there, Amin was reportedly given sanctuary in exchange for his silence on political matters, condition he apparently adhered to until his death in August 2003. 
Even in exile, Amin was a figure of controversy. Rumors swirled about his lifestyle, with reports suggesting he lived a life of luxury, a sharp contrast to the hardship faced by the Ugandan people he left behind. Despite his downfall, the impact of Amin's rule on Uganda was indelible. Idi Amin Dada left a legacy that Uganda and the world will not quickly forget. His rule severely impacted Uganda's economy and left a society grappling with trauma. Internationally, his unpredictable actions strained relations, causing a geopolitical ripple effect still felt today. He was a dictator whose reign of terror left an indelible mark on Uganda's history. Idi Amin Dada, a figure of terror and intrigue, continues to cast a long shadow over Uganda's history. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to stay updated with our content.